Hey guys, this is Rodri and this is my masterclass. Rodri! Oh, wow! Rodri to the rescue. It's sweet home by Rodri! Rodri, today we're going to look at what makes you considered to be one of the best holding midfielders in the game today. Just to start, in a few words, if you can, how would you describe your job at Manchester City? My job? Yeah. <laughs> Not an easy job, that's for sure. Uh, yeah, uh, I understand my role, exactly what the team needs about me, uh, my position in the game, the, what the coach wants about me. Of course, also not only football skills, also the mentality, the leadership, these kind of things with the lads. And yeah, to this year I'm one of the five captains also. So. Many things, as I tell, no, not an easy task. We've looked at three qualities here that are sometimes associated with your game. So let's look at each one. So the first one's versatility. You're ranked very highly for different kinds of passes. How important is it for you to be at the base of midfield and be able to have these options to go short, to go long, to do through balls? Well, I think it's part of the, of the holding midfielder role to, of course, to, to be safe with the pass, to, to get fluency to the, to the team, to, I think, uh, manage all the resistors as, as a pass, as you say, left, right, uh, have the ability to use both legs, um, long pass, uh, cheap balls, I think control any kind of pass uh, as, as, as this sense. Mm -hmm. Next one is discipline. This is a quote from your manager. He said, the holding mid midfielder has to be there and not move like the driver of a car. Uh, how difficult is it to be disciplined and make sure that you know you don't let yourself get carried away and do something that's going to cause some danger to the team? Well, I think um, in in my role as a holding midfield, the discipline is is the most important because you have to be 100% in 90 minutes of the game. I think I can any player can 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 be, you know, uh, pay no attention on. Uh, but uh, I think the most important part is the holding me feel because it's the one that organizes everyone in his position. I, I need to know what to do in the set pieces, what my teammates do. Also, uh, if I see something in the pitch that this guy is not doing well, I have to tell him. Because I have the 360 vision, I can see everything. So I think that's, that's the most important and it's, it's a big part of the discipline uh, to be always focused uh, on the game. Mm -hmm. The third one is intelligence. Another quote from Pep talking about you, saying that you're getting better at reading the game, reading the situation and defensively more presence. Do you feel that your intelligence and your ability to read the game has improved since you've joined City? Yeah, of course, the, the experience gives you uh, all the tools when you, when you grow into the game. And intelligence is, is, is quite similar, it's just uh, the fact to, to read what's going on in the game, to understand what the opponents are doing, what we want to do, where are the spaces. Uh, then the game changes in many ways, so understand when to run, when to uh, keep calm. These kind of situations that maybe is not the role for other players, but is, is key for the whole midfielder. Much has been made about how City's formation changes depending on whether you're in possession or, or not in possession. Could you talk a little bit about your role depending on whether you've got the ball or not? Yeah, of course. I think there's, there's only two and can be 160 ways of playing <laughs> because of Pep. But uh, yeah, commonly uh, as a holding midfielder, the, the, the main thing is when, if someone helps you in the build-up, like, like, like you see, uh, that sometimes, many times, is the, is the fullback that does this job. It can be also the midfielder, like the last games. But some, in, in our understanding, most of the times, is the, is the fullback. Um, and it's an easy job, easy task for me when in the build-up because I have one more player uh, to, to pass and to help me in this situation. And when I play alone, that, uh, of course, uh, you have more players on front. You have uh, more chances to play forward and more, more players on front. That is easy in this sense, but you have one less player in the build-up. And but this is, uh, I think, is attacking. Uh, I think you mean attacking. Mm -hmm. So yeah, basically, when you play with two, uh, you have to cover the space, the the central area that is the the way or the place that the holding has has to play uh, with two players. And when you are with one, you have to cover more space. It's a bit what what you need. What uh, depends on the opponents. And yeah, I think it's 
the boat systems that we must use. There's another clip now which is going to show the same thing uh, here. So if you hit play, it's just a few seconds, and then we'll, we'll see examples of both of those. So can we talk a little bit about defensive transitions? Uh, how do you react to the transition from when you, uh, you city have the ball to then when you lose the ball? How do you re react to this? Yeah, I think in, in, uh, in this clip you can, you can show uh, very easily this is a kind of a contra-attack. Uh, we, we lost the ball and we have to come back. As you can see, it's a very clear four line in the back. Um, you know, everyone, Ruben is, is looking all the players that has in, in their lines. And my job basically is not to lose the central position because the central position, um, uh, mostly in the area, is where the, they score most of the goals. So you have to force the, the, the teams to play outside and to gain time to, to make the people come back. And this is my role. That's why I'm coming back in, in this area. Uh, of course, you have to be, as, as you see, line up with the ball, e even though a little bit more in the back. Yeah. Um, but of course, every, every chance is different, every situation is different. But uh, this is the main thing. As you can see, uh, our key as a team, I think, is uh, that everyone is involved defending. You can see here, I think it's Gabi coming back to, to defend, Riyad again changing, Gundo coming back to his position, me. So we, we are all involved and, and it's one of the key things. So you never want to be caught in front of the ball if you can help it? You always want to be behind the ball? Of course, of course. It is, I think it's the main, main target. Uh, the main thing about a holding midfielder uh, is different the way we defend uh, because sometimes you don't have a mark. Uh, you just defend spaces. You cover other one of the players' mistakes, uh, uh, as you can you can say like this, uh, but I think we've we grown a lot uh, in, in this sense of the game, the, the defensive position. Here we've got two statistics which you rate in the top five in the Premier League. This is since you arrived in 2019. One represents on the, an on-the-ball statistic in pass completion, the other is uh, recoveries, which is off the ball. Perhaps these two statistics together, which you rate so highly at, give us a global view of what it is that you do, contributing to the attacks and the defence. Yeah, I think it, the dates are, you know, are relative. It can show you the quality of, of a player. Of course, there are different qualities. I think you know, there are great players here, as, you, as I can see. But uh, of course, this, uh, uh, here in the successful phase, I'm quite far from, from everyone because I'm a very... A uh, safe player. Uh, I think I, that's my best quality. Uh, my percentage of, of passing. Uh, I don't miss much passes, and it's so important for the team. And in the regain of the ball, uh, yeah, I'm quite there. Of course, uh, holding midfielder has to stop the, the other players' uh, contra attacks, uh, situations. Uh, it's, I think it's one of the situations I grow most since I came here. And I think it's the biggest role, uh, my import most important role in the, in the team. And yeah, as I can see, uh, I'm there and in the stats, uh, you have to be there if you want to be the best. So yeah, happy to see this. Uh, and as I, as I tell you, it shows you kind of the, the, the quality of the player or the type of player that I am. We're going to move to another aspect of your game now. Um, an example of how you bring something different to the team compared to the rest of the, the, the players. City often score a different type of goal than this. You offer something differently. That's why we titled it a different way to score. Um, of course, you've got to remain disciplined but, and ready for counter-attacks. So you can't go too far into the box, I guess. So this is really important that you can come up with some of these goals, right? It's the, the, the best way that you can contribute to the attacks. Yeah, of course. Um, I understand that uh, I can be involved also in the, in the scoring, in assisting. Uh, I have to be important in, in this sense. Of course, I don't arrive much into the box, just in set pieces or in the frontal areas, but I can push myself sometimes uh, because uh, if, if I go up, uh, another midfielder is, it can see it and he can stay my position. Uh, and yeah, I think it's important because uh, most of the games that we play, the, the, the teams drops a lot and they, they, they don't look much in these situations in the, in the frontal area. And uh, I can surprise um, uh, this year. I have won also one goal. They disallow me, but these kind of situations uh, is important because I can score goals like this. Nice. Okay. And then we'll go to the last one. 
If we're going to talk about a masterclass, we can't ignore this game against West Ham from your first season. You set a Premier League record for most passes completed in a single game at 178, when the entire West Ham team completed 169. To me, that's what total domination looks like. And would you agree that's uh, quite an impressive st statistic? Yeah, I was surprised that day. Uh, I remember I finished that game and I was like, whoa, uh, it's, it's the first time in my life I, I was tired to receive balls and balls. Like, and because you're tired some, uh, many times to run without the ball and this kind of thing, but I was like, I'm tired of having the ball, you know? And then they show me and make the one, one record in the Premier League. Um, yeah, of course, it talks about the way the, the team plays, the, the importance of the role of the holding midfielder, and the way that I adapt myself into the game. That I think is is been great since I came. So, yeah, very happy to to see these stats. Um, even though it can show you the powerful of, of our team, that a player can do more passes than the whole team together. So it talks about the, the domination of the game that we have. Obviously, a striker is happy at the end of the game when he scores. A goalkeeper is happy when they keep a clean sheet. What makes you happy at the end of a game? It's a good question. Um, I'm, I'm very happy, of course, when, when we win. Uh, but uh, I'm focused on, on my role, on what I do. Of course, uh, if I don't miss passes, uh, how many balls I regain. Uh, if I'm being defensively a key. For example, the, the Liverpool game last year, the save I did, for me was even more important uh, as a goal. And these kind of situations make you, you know, uh, be, be proud of what, what you do in the game. Uh, but yeah, I think these two things, to, to be representative and important offensively in the passes, not to play always back, just, you know, uh, have a good game offensively with, with long balls, uh, chips in behind, assist, maybe one goal and defensively uh, to, to adjust and correct all the situations that are in the game. Yeah.